On October 19, 2014, my nine-year-old son Eli was murdered by a hit-and-run driver. His body was dragged over a quarter mile and his body was left for dead on the side of the road. From that day on, I have had to live the last year of my life lifeless, feeling dead inside, lost, nowhere to go, nowhere to turn, nothing to do, and not knowing, to, not knowing what to do with myself. Uh, I pretty much shut down to the world. I wanted to stay in my tiny closet and never come out. I didn't trust people. I didn't want to go anywhere. I didn't want to see anyone. I didn't want to talk to anybody. And I pretty much just didn't know what to do with myself. I had my personal trainer, who is now my personal trainer, uh, reached out to me and offered to help me out with personal training, offered me to come out to the gym if I ever needed to. And I denied his offer at first. And I continued on every single day, just not knowing what to do, just staying home, lifeless. I have a three-year-old son who I still am forced to continue living on every single day for him. And I realized that I needed to do something. I didn't want to live life anymore. I didn't want to continue on and I needed to figure out what to do with myself. I ended up reaching out to my trainer and taking him up on the offer and I decided to put all of the anger, the pain, the rage, the murder that I live with every single day of my life into the gym. With that and doing that, um, I could say that is one of the biggest reasons why I am here today or not behind bars. And it is one of the best things that could have ever happened to me and my, my son. If there is a message that I could get out to the world, it would be letting them know that if I can do this, anyone can. Ugh. Perfect, we got it. That's Good. all I needed. <sighs> yeah, Thank you, it. Jesus. <laughs>